Power View is a functionality that ships with Excel 2013 and it can be published directly to SharePoint Server to provide all users with any skill level and interactive data exploration, visualization, and presentation experience. So let me show you how this Power View functionality works in Excel and how you can transfer it then to, to SharePoint Server. Now opening up this spreadsheet with US Air Carrier flight delays information. Got lots of good information here. I'm going to take the whole thing, highlight it, and format it as a table first. Okay, my table has headers. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the Power View, which is from the Insert tab and Power View. That's all you got to do. Click on Power View and it's going to generate the Power View for you on a different tab in Excel. Okay, here it is. Almost done over here now. Okay, so here's a default data that it presented to me. I can go ahead and start using this one, resizing it as I want. Or I can go ahead and just click on the surface here and just take in other components, other field values basically, and have them be presented on that surface. So for this example, I want to select the arrival delay minutes and the day of the month and destination to show the data. This is in tabular format, of course. Right now, for the arrival delay minutes, I don't want the sum, I'd really want the average. So I change that pretty easily. For the days of the month, currently this is sum. I'll say don't summarize this. All right. For the destination, that's fine. That's just showing me the code of the destination airport. Now I'm changing this to a column chart, a stacked column chart. And that will let me visualize that data instead of just seeing it in a tabular format. Okay, now this looks a little bit messy the way it is right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the destination. Okay, so let's go to destination over here and say remove this field. Here we go. What I'm really looking for here is to show me the arrival delay times of the flights depending on which day. As you can see, the 24th day is not a good day in terms of uh, flights. All right, let me go ahead and just make this bigger. So the 24th day really stands out. Okay, I want to do what I'm going to do right now is go to the bottom now and put in another data set and that's going to be departure delay minutes and days of the month. Once again, for departure delay minutes, currently it's doing the sum, I'll do the average and I will not summarize the days of the month. And same thing, I'm going to make a stacked column here as well. Okay, so some similarity here. Same thing for the departure delay minutes. The 24th day of the month, not a good month, to, not a good day to travel. For the filters, I didn't need that, so I, can, I got rid of it. I'm making a title here, and that's going to be delayed flights, times, and of course these are averages. Looking pretty good. Now I'm also going to put an image and that's going to be a background image. So I have a image of the capital. Let me take that. And you can make this as transparent as you want. So the transparency I'll set and make it more transparent like let's do 80%. Here we go. Gives a nice effect, a background effect to my graph and chart. Now what I want to do is save this. So I'm going to do a file, save as, and then save it to SharePointVideos.com, which is an actual Office 365 site. You could do that for Office 365. You could do it for SharePoint 2013 on-premise. Either way, you select the place that you want to save it to a SharePoint server, which is running SharePoint 2013. 
and then you go ahead and name it properly. So you go to the document library. In my case, I'm going to the documents, document library in the test site here. And I'm also going to go to browser view options. And in here, I'm going to say that don't show all the sheets, just show the power view sheet. So doing it this way, I can hide the actual data, the first tab, and just show the power view tab and the information in the power view. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now it's saving it. It takes a few seconds to upload to SharePoint. Here it is. And once it's all done, I'm going to go ahead and flip to that library in my Internet Explorer to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Here's the test site and the documents library is where I put it. So I'm going to go to the documents library right there. It has other components, other files in there too, but I'm looking for the U.S. Air Carrier Flight Delays. Okay, so there it is. The capital picture appears and then the graphs appear. The delayed flight times averages. Just like that, now it's showing me all the information directly in the browser, all interactive to the user who's viewing this information. And that's how you can create a power view directly in SharePoint, making it interactive to all skill levels of uh, SharePoint users.